My grandmother always used to tell me that the best presents came in the smallest packages. Now, when I was seven years old and all I wanted was a brand new pair of skates, I didn't really believe her. But now I do believe that some of the tiniest things that you bring on your vacation can make or break your whole entire trip. So today I am going to go over 20 of my favorite tiny travel essentials. Let's go. There are things that you can bring on your vacation that can possibly save your vacation from being maybe not completely ruined, but maybe not being the best time ever. Versus behind us. When I say tiny, most of these items will fit in the palm of my hand. There are a few that are more the size of my hand, my hand, but most of them are smaller than the palm of my hand. And we're gonna start off with the one that I regret the most not bringing on this last trip I went on to Mexico, and that is packets of emergency. Usually I pack at least one packet per day and I take it every day while I'm traveling. Well, I totally forgot to pack them this time and I am paying for it. I've had a cold that you can probably hear in my voice. I'm gonna try not to cough on camera. I've got my tea here, hopefully keep the cough at bay. But emergency usually prevents that from happening and I am so bummed I did not take it with me on this last trip. This next item is something that I haven't carried yet, but I am going to start carrying with me. And it is an over the door hanger. Out of the eight to 10 bathrooms I went to in the airports between here in Mexico and coming back from Mexico, I think one of the bathrooms actually had a functioning hook on the back of the door and otherwise had no other place to put your personal item bag. I am going to just start throwing this in my personal item bag and having it with me so that I can throw it on the back of any door that I go in to use the bathroom. Because if you end up checking your carry-on bags, your roller bag, you don't have a place to really set your purse or your personal item bag. This does not take up a lot of space and they're really inexpensive. This next item is a TSA approved lock. Having a TSA approved lock, whether you use it on your luggage or not, is just nice to have in case you decide there is a reason that you want to lock something up. Perhaps you are one of those intrepid adventurer women like myself and you like to stay in some hostels. Having a little lock around that you can use on a locker or perhaps you go on a tour where you can put your items in a locker. Having a lock with you just gives you that added sense of having some security when you want to put your valuables away. This next item has saved my butt a couple of times especially when I go somewhere where I'm doing a lot of walking. No matter how many times you might have worn a pair of shoes before you go on a trip, there's always the possibility that circumstances like sweat and temperature and all these other things can cause you to end up getting blisters. Having some medicated blister pads of different sizes to take with you is always a good call. I have talked before on my channel about replacing your disposable makeup remover wipes with taking microfiber pads with you on your trip. These are great for saving space, but also saving the planet. And although this might not be a, you know, save your vacation item, it is something that you could do great for Mother Earth. This next item is something that I use quite often and I did use on this last vacation. I don't have a lot of racer bag bras but I do like to wear a lot of tank tops and especially kind of a racer back style tank top, sort of like what I have on today. These little clip items, I don't, I guess they're bra clips, but there's no like actual clipping. You put the bra strap on either side of these little extenders here, and then you can slide that up and down your back, depending on where the shoulder straps are for the bra or for the top that you are wearing, so that you can make sure that you get it in the right spot. These things are awesome. And they come in a bag of black, white, and beige ones and a variety of different styles. So you can kind of mix it up. And I want to say the bag that I got had at least 10 or 15 of these in them and they're not very expensive. This is one of those items that I think would be key to have in your packing gear, especially when you're packing for spring and summer vacations. This one's going to seem pretty straightforward, but I can't tell you the number of times that I've ended up on a plane without having any 
chapstick, especially having chapstick that has some SPF in it. I, of course, love Burt's Bees chapsticks, but I have a variety of different chapsticks that I carry around as well. I'm now making sure that I have chapstick in my personal item bag and my carry-on bag just in case I forget to put it in one of the other because I have gotten to places and not had any chapstick and ended up with the worst chapped lips by the end of the vacation. So always have a tube of chapstick with you. Next up are the Powerhouse Tools carabiners. I like to use this big one to attach my snack bag to my personal item bag. You can also use it to attach your personal item bag to your suitcase if you don't happen to have a trolley strap on your personal item bag. This little tiny powerhouse carabiner, you can use this to hook the zippers on your personal item bag or your backpack or your day bag when you are out walking around to keep it secure from pickpockets. You can also use it to attach your Airbnb key to it if you want to attach the key on one end and then use the other end to attach inside of your day pack so you don't lose the key. And this little tiny thing can do a lot for you when you are out on vacation. You've seen this next item in a few of my videos and I have loved using this traveling and it's this collapsible water bottle. This is gets to be the smallest water bottle that I have seen on the market. And it's so easy to use. You can unscrew the top and then you just pop it open and then fill it up especially at the airport where they do have all of the free filling stations. It does come with a little handle, so if you wanna hook it onto your personal item bag after you've filled it up, you can do that. One thing that I do want to remind people of, when you are in the airplane and you've taken off and you have a full water bottle and you have a straw nozzle like this, you want to be careful when you open that once you are in air because the water expands in here, and if you open this up too fast, it's gonna come scrutting out at either you or possibly the person sitting next to you. So what I try to remember to do is point it away towards like the back of the seat in front of me and then open the, the spout up so that it doesn't get me or the person next to me, or just kind of keep my hand over it as I'm opening the bottle. Otherwise, uh, yeah, you don't wanna give the person next to you a bath. That's just bad form. <laughs> next up are earplugs. I think these are self-explanatory, but not just for the airplane, for those <laughs> crying children or, you know, the snorers next to you. But also, if you happen to get somewhere where the walls might be a little thin in your hotel room, it's kind of nice to have these to be able to put in at night so that you can get some rest. I really like that these come with a cord that hold them together and they are very soft and rubbery. So even in my tiny ears, these fit really, really well. I know there are a few items in this list that are everyday items that you probably have around anyway, but if there is something you wanna check out, I will have links in the description below. As I've mentioned before, to find the description, just look in the box for the words show more click on that and it'll open up the whole box and you will see all the links there this is something i talked about in my recent video about how to pack a toiletry bag more efficiently and if you haven't seen that video yet i'll put that in the description too but that is to use a contact case to decant your 3.4 ounce liquids or bigger into for the time that you're gonna be on your vacation you don't need to take 3.4 ounces of moisturizer or makeup with you if you're only going to be gone like three to five days. Using a contact case can save you so much more room so that maybe you can actually fit in that sunscreen you really do need to bring 3.4 ounces of. Another thing I talked about in that toiletry bag video is safety pins. And I do usually have these attached to one of the zippers on my toiletry bag to always have them around pretty easy access to because you never know when you are gonna to need to fix like a broken strap on a backpack, or perhaps you have a shirt that's maybe a little lower cut than you were anticipating it was gonna be. So bring a variety of sizes of safety pins with you because they always, always come in handy. This next item is a little bit bigger than my hand, but I do think it still falls under the tiny essentials category, and that is a packable day pack. Having a little bag, either like this backpack that this one is, or a duffel bag, or a shopping bag, that you can use to go get groceries or perhaps use on a day trip for a hike that you don't really want to take a purse on, or even just to have to bring 
extras back with you if you've done a little overbuying with your souvenirs. I always, always take an extra little day pack or tote bag with me when I travel. It doesn't take up much space and boy, have I really needed it sometimes. This is another item I talk about quite often, and that is a tile or an air tag for your luggage. After last year's chaos of lost luggage throughout the whole world, I think having something that you can tag your luggage with now is essential. And it doesn't matter where you're going, even having something in your luggage if you're on a road trip, in case something gets stolen out of your car, is a good idea too. I would recommend picking up a couple of these to have on hand to use in your luggage for your air travels as well as your road trips. These next two items I use to get a better night's sleep when I'm staying in hotels and Airbnbs. The first one are these little post-it strips that I use to cover up those annoying lights in the rooms. You know what I'm talking about, those blue lights and red lights that tend to light up the room once the light has been turned off. So you just use these to cover those lights off and then remove it when you leave. The other items are a couple of tiny binder clips and I will use these to close the curtains because there's always that tiny little gap with the curtains. I don't know what it is, especially in hotels. It's like the curtains never really want to come together. So I will use these to clip the curtain together at like two spots so that it stays closed, especially for places where you might be where the sun comes up at like four o'clock in the morning in the summertime, and you're not quite ready to get up that early. Something that I try to remember to carry with me, and I don't always do a good job of having it with me, but I'm trying to be better, is a tiny little flashlight. So this one is one that is made to like clip onto a hat instead of a headlamp. I've talked about carrying a headlamp too, but headlamps are pretty big. This is a nice one. You can like use the clip that you would use to put on your um, hat. You could use it to put on a hat you know, obviously, but you can also use it to just set that up on a counter and that'll shine down if you're trying to read a book and you don't want to have all the lights on in a room. But I especially think that having a tiny flashlight is useful if you're going to a country where the electricity grid is maybe not as robust as ours is here. So they may tend to have electrical outages on a regular basis and you don't want to run the battery down on your phone by using the flashlight on your phone. Having just a tiny little flashlight is a great idea. Also, if you're going somewhere where you want to rent bikes to use for the week, and you're probably gonna be out in the evening. In case those bikes don't have lights, you can always use something like this so that you make sure that people can see you and you can see where you're going. Something I've started taking with me just in case I wanna do a little tiny bit of laundry, like if I've had a shirt that I wanna wear more than once and it's gotten a little sweatier than I wanted, or perhaps a couple of pairs of underwear that I need to wash, I have been using these laundry sheets to wash my clothes here at the house for a few months now, and I love these things. A, you know, the packaging takes up so little space, but also you can take the sheets and you can cut them up into little squares and then put them in a little plastic baggie and just bring a few along with you so you can do a little bit of laundry in the sink if you need to. This next item I know I've already talked about a few times before as well, but it's this wallet tripod. I've used this so much since I got it at Christmas and I can't recommend it enough. In fact, I used it a lot on this last vacation in order to get some footage that I will be putting in future videos of the place that I stayed and of Isla Mujeres, that where the island that I stayed on. And I can't wait for those videos to come out for you guys. If you are tired of having pictures from your vacation that you're not in, or you can't get pictures of your whole family together because you can't find somebody to take the picture of you, I highly recommend investing in one of these. The one tiny travel essential that I never ever travel without anymore is Dramamine. I have had too many instances where I've ended up on a trip and I've been on a shuttle bus and gotten so car sick 
because I didn't have Dramamine with me. Now I know there are the patches out there and the bracelets, and honestly, I have not tried those yet. It's one of those cases of, I know the Dramamine works and I don't wanna take the chance of trying something that doesn't work and ending up being nauseous for a day or two, because that's what basically happens to me. So I always, always travel with the Dramamine and I do like to take the all day, less drowsy Dramamine. And what I try to do is if I know I'm leaving the next morning on a curvy road trip, I take the Dramamine the night before. Same thing goes if I'm going offshore fishing. I'll take the Dramamine at night before I go to sleep so it's well, well into my system before I ever end up going on that curvy road or onto a boat. For some other travel problem solving products, this is a great video to check out next.